Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor, Joy. Thank you very much for your kind support with your kind questions, comments, then sending me donations, booking lessons with me. I really, really appreciate. This video will be an answer to a subscriber. This Valnis was wondering about um, nursery rhymes, whether I could make a video about it. I thought that was such a cute request. So I'll take this chance to work with one of the uh, nursery rhymes or one of the children's songs that one could use it for a very young violinist. You know, whether you're a violin instructor yourself or if you're a parent of a young child, it's crucially important to know how to help this young violinist so that they become a great violinist later. As we know, um, the career for violinists starts rather early. You know, some people say they started at four, some started at three. I even had a student who came when they were only two and a half. So it, it gets earlier and earlier when to start. But we there's a very little um, information out there to know how to help this very young child to start with a dis beautiful but yet very difficult violin instrument, right? So I find it uh, using nursery rhymes. It's great way to start with a young student. Number one, because it's fun, because they know already how to sing those. They've heard it many times from their parents and their kindergarten friends. And also, number two, you can use those, those rhymes to teach them um, how to work on their rhythm, right? That's a great way. For example, I remember um, when I was teaching a little 16th note like or 8th note I would use instead of 16th note or 8th note that's already too complicated I use simply like pepperoni pizza pepperoni being 16th pizza being 8th uh, being note so you would pepperoni pizza pepperoni pizza and that works great that's stated in every um, every child's brain and it made sense to them so like that one could use always um, rhymes to teach young students uh, when, when you work on rhythms but let's say what do we do in a very first class as a violin instructor and as a parent so now um, I find it when it comes to young student um, you have to understand it's not even though they're very little and they're very young the relationship between an instructor and student or parent to the student should be somewhat um, not totally equal but like a co-worker kind of relationship it's not teacher tells student what to do student absolutely follows no matter what it may feel like that work that you, you can make a quick progress but at the end student develops this um, this resistance because they never had a saying so I find it crucially important from early on that you have to allow or the student or the young violinist to have a voice they do not have to make every decision you as an instructor or teacher is the one who's gonna choose for the child for, for the on behalf of, of the child but it's very important that that the child young child has a saying if young child wants to learn rather this tune than the other tune, then you have to work with it unless it's an unreasonable request. And then if it's unreasonable request, then you have to explain to them in a language that they understand. But if you give them a little voice, you will soon see they are on board. They want to work with you. Yeah, it's very, very important. That's the most important one. Number two, you have to make this whole lesson a lot of fun yeah i find it there's a lot of great rhymes like twinkle twinkle or baba black sheep thank you or old mcdonald there are all those ones that are great but i like it to i like to start with a tune bingo because i find it for the very first class it's a little hard for a child to know all these notes, all the different notes. So what you do is you teach them very basics of how to hold the violin, vaguely, and then the bow, this proper way of holding is great, but when you're dealing with three, two, or four-year-old child, this is very complicated bow holding. So just have them grab it just the way they would hold any stick, just gently. Yeah, help them to go grab it just with gently, not too firmly, but anyway like that, so they can draw the sound. They don't have to use a whole bow, but anywhere in the middle. Yeah, once they're done, 
and then they're already excited. You have them already in your board. And then now you teach them long and short strokes, or long and short one. Yeah? So they already have two different kinds of rhythm. And I find the, the tune bingo works very well because it starts like this. B I N G O. So it has two long short and then two fast and at the end a, a little long. So which will allow the child to rest while playing the long notes. And when you play that tune, you don't have you don't ask them to play the entire tune. You as a violin instructor or teacher, if you're a violin instructor, you play the tune before that, or if you're a teacher, you sing them. So let's say you're a violin instructor and you do do like this. Sorry? Then ask the student to play this part, B I N G O, but without left hand because for the first class it's too hard to do left hand. Just hold the violin on the body and then hold the bow as easy as it is, and then we're going to do B I N G O on open E. And this time with the up bow, B I N G O. And again, when they're done three times in a row, then you pick up and you finish it. So now if you're a parent, you would sing that part. There was a farmer had a dog and uh, what was that name? <laughs> there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh then should the child play B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and then you would keep singing and bingo was his name like that. And you will soon see the child gets excited with a simple tune. They've learned already to play with the bow just like any other big families, like their teachers and so on. And you have them on board. Yeah. Make sure after this one, you have to reward them. The reward does not have to be anything grandiose. It can be a simple smile, simple hug, simple recognition with your own word. Sometimes stickers work very well too, like always, yeah? I hope um, you have a lot of fun with little ones. Remember, the little ones are very fragile, but they're also a little human being. So they have their own brain and they have their own ideas. It's very important for us adults to listen to them and work with them. Treat them like a co-worker, not as somebody that we have to tell them what to do. Even though that's what we want you to do, yeah? Thank you for watching and happy valid play. Bye-bye.